CGMs or continuous glucose monitors have been all over the internet lately. Today we're going to talk about Ultra Humans M1 CGM, but I also want to touch on some of the pros and cons to using a CGM if you don't have diabetes. And just so you know, Ultra Human did send me their M1 to review, but as always, my thoughts and opinions are 100% my own. Let's dive in. The packaging is really nice and it feels like a premium experience. So I received two Libre 3 CGMs, two alcohol wipes, and three hypoallergenic patches per sensor. Now I've used Levels a few times before and they only give you two patches per sensor, so this was a nice surprise. Although with the Ultra Human 1 experience, I needed to use all three patches to get through the entire 14 day life cycle of the sensor. And on the topic of patches, I wish that there wasn't adhesive directly underneath where you place the sensor because every time you go to replace the patch one you kind of fear that you're gonna rip out the CGM I did not have that happen but the fear was there but also you just left with like the sticky residue directly on the sensor and that's not fun Applying the CGM is pretty straightforward. Basically, you gotta download the Libre3 app and the Ultra Human app and make sure the two are connected. Even though I've done this a few times before, the anticipation still gets me. Oh, nervous. Yeah, here we go. One, two, three. That wasn't bad. <laughs> and then, hooray! That's so tiny. It's kind of cute. I think the anticipation is honestly worse than sticking the needle in your arm. But once it's in, throw a patch on it and you wait an hour for the sensor to be ready. That's it, I'm done. And before and during that time when you're waiting for the sensor to be ready, the recommendation is to not eat anything so you have stable blood sugar. I'm really excited that Ultra Human is using the Libre 3 because I've only had experience with the Libre 2. While both CGMs are water resistant and last up to 14 days, the Libre 3 is smaller and thinner and you do not have to manually scan it. It tracks your blood sugar in real time. But there are some downsides to the Libre 3 that I want to mention. First off, sometimes it loses connection. Two, you have to keep the Libre 3 app open at all times and you have to enable critical alerts. And so if you try to close out the Libre 3 app, it will um, yell at you really, really loud. And even if you anticipate it, it is still scary. Were you sleeping in my office and he came to see what was that big sound looking out for me? Keep in mind, these sensors are designed for people with diabetes, and these critical alerts can be life-saving. But as somebody who does not have diabetes, I do wish that I had the ability to disable all critical alerts. Let's shift gears and talk about the Ultra Human app experience. So you access all of your M1 data within one tab in the app. And this is where you see the graph that tracks your glucose levels throughout the day, as well as any tracked activities like workouts or meals. You can manually add these activities in the Ultra Human app. And if you have the Ultra Human Ring Air, which I do, it'll pull information from that as well. You can also pair the Ultra Human app with a bunch of other apps. So I have mine pulling information from Apple Health, but what I am most excited about is that you can pair it with MyFitnessPal. And MyFitnessPal is like one of the top food tracking apps. Anytime I track macros, MyFitnessPal is my go-to app. And that's mainly because they have a really extensive food database. But I realized that for it to pair optimally with the Ultra Human app, you gotta have the premium version of MyFitnessPal so you can log your meal times. Logging food directly in the Ultra Human app is not a big deal, it is not hard, but I couldn't be as precise as I could be in MyFitnessPal. And this is mainly because the food database isn't as extensive as MyFitnessPal, which is not surprising, but also because the serving sizes are are generally in grams. And I am your typical American who is not fluent in the metric system. I measure my food in ounces. Now, Ultra Human will show you your macros and calories consumed for the day, which is really, really cool. But if I track my food directly in the Ultra Human app versus my fitness pal, that data is not going to be accurate because honestly, I'm not paying attention to the serving sizes. But when it comes to CGMs, personally, I would rather be capturing what foods I'm eating rather than how much I'm eating because I wanna understand how different foods are affecting my blood sugar. 
So Ultra Human will give you an overall metabolic score for the day and that's based on your glucose variability. So for instance, if your blood sugar is all over the place, like lots of peaks and valleys and it's looking more like a heart rate monitor, you're probably going to have a lower metabolic score for the day. But if, if that line is relatively flat, and you're gonna have natural bumps in blood sugar that is totally normal, but that will lend itself to a higher score. But it'll also give you a score for each food that you log and it'll help you start to identify which foods give you a more stable glucose response. And it'll make recommendations for how to blunt glucose spikes in the future. And here's another thing, when you track or log workouts, it'll give you a fueling score for that workout. And that will help you start to understand how to better fuel for the type of workout that you're doing, really just based on intensity. If you scroll down underneath the graph, you'll see all of the notifications that you've received throughout the day. And that'll be pulled from your CGM data, but also uh, your Ultra Human Ring Air if you have it. Initially, I wasn't sure how useful this information would be, but I think it does help bring some awareness to really the notifications that you're getting. Like if, if you're not moving around much during the day or your blood sugar is spiking and maybe there are things that you can do like going for a walk after a meal to help stabilize your blood sugar. Something that Ultra Human does a really great job with, both with their M1 and their Ring Air, is the access to data. You have so much data that you can dig into, but it can also feel a little overwhelming. So they have a performance coach feature, which basically gives you access to professionals who can help you interpret your data. I think being able to understand what you're seeing and make actionable insights is like the key benefit to using a CGM. And it's something I wanna talk a little more about. So why use a CGM if you don't have diabetes? For starters, it can be a really useful educational tool. You get to see how your body reacts to different foods and you may start to notice patterns that you haven't noticed before. For instance, throughout the time I've used CGMs, I've really started to understand how meal timing and food choices affect my sleep. And of course, I can't remember exactly when this was, so I can't find a screenshot, but you'll just have to take my word for it. But I remember going and getting frozen yogurt with my husband. Sure enough, big blood sugar spike and woke up in the middle of the night, didn't sleep super well. And when I checked my blood sugar data in the morning, there was another spike around the time when I woke up, which was kind of wild. Clearly this has made a lasting impression, but these little aha moments have helped me make more informed decisions. Also, I just wanna make it clear, I love dessert. No hate on dessert. Okay, moving on. The other key reasons I think using a CGM can be useful for non-diabetics is for motivation and accountability. So there's this phenomenon called the Hawthorne effect. Basically, people who are being watched or studied, they tend to change or even improve their behavior. And I have noticed that every time I wear a CGM, I am so much more motivated to eat foods that are better for my blood sugar, generally cleaner foods, more whole foods. And even though I'm the only one looking at my data, except when I choose to put it on the internet, I don't wanna see a huge spike in my blood sugar. I wanna see it be relatively stable. And just knowing that I'm gonna have to face my data is usually the kind of accountability and motivation that I need to make better food choices. Now, if we're talking about the average person who does not have diabetes, especially if you're early on in your health and fitness journey, I do not think that CGMs are worth the time or money. Keep it simple and focus on the basics. Eat more whole foods, drink more water, move throughout the day, and try to get at least eight hours of sleep. Adding a CGM into the mix can overcomplicate things. Too much data and data that you have to take the time to understand can either just be noise or it can be really overwhelming and stressful. Let's shift gears a little bit and talk about pricing because there are a lot of different pricing options for the Ultra Human M1. Basically every option you can select from will get you two sensors per month. I'll put the cost per sensor for the one-time purchases and the recurring subscription on the screen. But there's another subscription called Ultra Human X that we need to talk about. It's $30 per year and basically you get access to better prices on Ultra Human products as well as some products from other partners. You get priority support and you get more protection and coverage on Ultra Human products. And you get at least 15% off of M1 purchases. So Ultra Human X ends up paying for itself really quickly. 
Personally, I'll only ever buy the one month or three month options, mainly because when I wear a CGM, I don't replace it every 14 days. In theory, would I like to wear a CGM more often and gather more insights and data? Sure. But staying on top of tracking my food and interpreting my data, it's just not realistic for my schedule. And I also just wanna live my life and not measure everything. But every time I do use a CGM, I try to have an idea of what I wanna get out of the experience. The first time, I really just wanted to see how different foods affected my blood sugar. But as I learned more and got more comfortable navigating and interpreting the data, I felt like I could be a little more intentional with what I wanted to do. For instance, experimenting with different ways to potentially blunt blood sugar spikes or exploring how different food combinations and meal timing affects my blood sugar. There are endless experiments that you can do. Now everybody is different, I'm not saying that that's what you have to do and you may wanna do different things with your CGM, but please keep in mind this is what has worked for me. Overall, I've been really happy with Ultra Human's M1 experience. I like the user interface and the ability to connect to different apps like MyFitnessPal. And there's no additional membership that you have to purchase on top of purchasing the CGM like you have to do with Levels. The Ultra Human M1 is one of the more affordable options out there, but you're not sacrificing quality. And I wish I had said this way earlier, but here we are. If you're interested in trying out the M1, Ultra Human has provided me with a discount code to share with you guys, and I will put that in the description below. And a huge thank you to them for letting me test out the M1 and for just being great. Seriously, they're incredibly kind, and I just, I appreciate them so much. So I just want to mention that the Ultra Human team saw my last video and in response, they sent me a little care package, which was completely unexpected. and so incredibly meaningful. So they're just, they're such wonderful people. Anyway, I have picked out a few other videos that I thought you might enjoy and I will see you in the next one.